Iowa City leaders say is to give second chances to the people. Apostle Chambers, now fourth in Cleveland, also will help us. Your states will have 400 seizures a day. Dylan's mom says they've done everything to ease their eight-year-old son's pain, including cannabis. is relieved to see Tampa City leaders decriminalize small amounts of marijuana, criminal charges that have derailed many people's lives. Well, I was in my mid-20s, and I was studying uh, at the University of South Florida. Carlos Hermida has three bachelor's degrees, one master's, and one misdemeanor marijuana charge on his record. And I was leaving class one day uh, to go get some food, and I had a gram of marijuana on me, and I was arrested. Tampa City Councilors passed the ordinance making 20 grams or less of marijuana a civil citation with a $75 fine instead of a criminal charge. Fines increase with every citation. This is talking about giving people a second chance. The ordinance will likely be adopted March 17th after a second reading. You know, this is just an opportunity to uh, perhaps unclog the system a little bit and perhaps uh, not create a a record for somebody Though counselors say the ordinance is really aimed at youngsters who make bad choices. Minorities disproportionately arrested for marijuana charges. This mom is thankful it may also help her son. It's, it's chipping away at the bigger issue. In Tampa, Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.